Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 2920BH. This particular model is in the granite interior. This is a great quad bunk floor plan. It's nice and open. Let's go ahead and start right here in the kitchen. Uh, you will see you have great countertop space there, and that is aided by giving you the sink top covers right here. The sink is nice and easy to get to, easy to use, of course. When you take those sink covers off, you will see you have a double bowl sink, larger on the left, smaller on the right, and a high-rise faucet in order to aid in doing dishes. Uh, if, you if you take a look underneath, one of the great things about having a big countertop is it means you get a lot of storage underneath, too. So we'll start right up front here. If I open that up, you can see you have good access to storage right there. Then we come around to the side here, open this one up. You see you have storage in the top. Then take a look at this, two extremely long full extension ball bearing drawers right there. And you have additional storage yet here in the front. We open that up and again, access to that same area underneath. So lots of storage underneath this countertop. Uh, also, you have a three burner at wood cooktop here. The front one is high output. And then you have an oven underneath if you wanna do a little baking. Up top is your hood, uh, microwave here, and pantry space. I like the fact that they do have the raised panel cabinetry. Gives it a little more class, but you can see that right there. As we move further into the kitchen, you get into the fridge freezer combo. Go ahead and open that up. You can see you have plenty of space cut out there for some taller items as well. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Now on our way back to the bunk room, you will see that the bathroom is right back here. Uh, you have great features. You see the foot flush lever toilet right down here in the corner. Plenty of leg room. The sink top and vanity has great storage underneath. You see a cut out there. Uh, you have additional storage if you open up the door there. Big countertop, mirrored medicine cabinet. Uh, and then over to the side here is the tub shower, which is what you want if you have a bunkhouse. If you have little ones, you'll certainly enjoy a tub over a shower. Uh, that way you're able to give them a bath if need be. But you also have the hand wand and the skylight there as well. Let's come on back into uh, the bunk area. Right outside of it here, you will notice you have an adjustable shelf. So this is pretty cool. It's very versatile. If you want to use this as pantry space, you can do that. If you want it for clothes, you have a hanging rod in there or multiple shelves. So it just gives you a lot of versatility as to what you want to do with it. Now in the bunk room itself, you will notice there are two bunks on this side. Uh, you have a window up top. On the bottom is a door. Uh, so that of course is great because it gives you the access from either inside or outside. So what you can do while traveling, this bunk actually flips up. You can load everything in from that door right there. And then when you get to your campsite, go ahead and take it out. So uh, again, it just gives you that extra room for some larger items during travel. When you get to your destination, of course, put it right back down you have your two bunks here then same thing over here another two bunks 300 pound weight capacity on the bunks there uh, and a window on top and bottom bunk here in the very back you will see you have your tv outlet so if you want to hook up a tv back here for the kids that's not an issue and then right up top you take a look there is a hanging rod so additional wardrobe space so again if you don't want to use this one out here for wardrobe space you certainly do have this one and then underneath some shelving space you can see that right there. As we step back out of the bunk room, we will move into the main living area. This is a super slide here. You can see the U-shaped dinette, again, the granite interior. Uh, one of the things that Passport has done for 2017, uh, they went to the leather on the seats. I think that was definitely a good choice. So if the kids do spill anything, it is nice, easy cleanup. But u dinette is great, gives you lots of seating space for the family, and it drops down and makes a very large bed. So if you want to turn it into a bed, all you have to do is pull the legs out right here. This table will sit right along those rails and uh, put the cushions on top to get that additional sleeping space. And this can uh, is easily large enough for two adults. Also, you'll see right here, it's very easy access to the storage underneath these seats. Uh, you have that on both sides. So you just open that up, grab whatever you need to, rather than having to take all the cushions out and getting underneath the seat itself. And then as you move over, one of the things that uh, Passport has changed for the uh, late model, the fall model 2017s, is this right here. They've gone to a tri-fold sofa instead of a jackknife. I think this is a huge improvement, a great upgrade to the Passport line. 
Uh, one, it's more comfortable, and two, even though you do lose storage, you get a much better sleeping 